Okay, here we are on the mighty Chehalis. So uh, it's February the 28th, I believe. We met this guy fishing on another river that kind of gave us some direction to get here. So uh, he said, you go up to the old nuclear plant at Satsup, where they mothballed all the cooling towers years ago, and drive down this old road and you'll find the pump stations that we're gonna provide water from the Chehalis River, and this is a pump station situated here on the river that was gonna cool the nuclear reactors. So we found this place on the Chehalis, and we're all by ourselves alone. Just me and Dan, and the road and the trees and the wind, and thought we'd go find it. So he said, stop at the first pump station, which is, this is the first one we found. You go down the road, it looks like another one over there through the trees. Anyway, and you go down through the road, and you'll find a trail. Well, Dan went out ahead of me. Wanted to get some video of this road. It goes a hawk. Pretty sweet. And you'll find this trail leads down to a fishing camp. And this looks like the trail. And once you get there, you can fish right off the bank of the Chehalis. They've caught a lot of steelhead out through here. Well, I think I found the trail. There's old Brahma. That truck loves to go hunting and fishing. Can't keep it home. Yeah, that pump station looks pretty good size. Anyway, so let's go down the trail. See if we can find what he was talking about. Yeah, she looks kind of treacherous here. Watch your step. There goes some frogs. And a little muddy. Looks like Dan's been here. A little water. He's talking to somebody. Uh -huh. There's the river. Yeah. And there's the camping shack he was talking about. And he must be talking to somebody in there. I can hear him. But I don't see any fishing poles out. Water looks like it's down quite a bit. I can see the bottom here in spots. Oh, he's doing his own GoPro. So yeah, there's the river. And at this point, it looks kind of muddy, slow. Yeah, they even got their own antenna dish out here kind of amazing funny actually look at that chunk of wood washed up there yeah yeah looks like a net a handle of a net there well, I don't see any fish jumping but we're gonna try doing some fishing here put out some lines and see what come up with all right, let's go in the shack. Yeah, so where's hand towel? Welcome. Well, there's the heater. There's CD over there. And the dartboard. The special of the day is... Oh, shovels, pots, pans, bush. Huh, chair. Dartboard. Lures. Tonka truck spinners, if you're interested. Hooks. Shovels. Boy, well, place is pretty afloat. Place is pretty well outfitted. Fire. Yeah, there's even a table to eat on. See any wood to split to make a fire out of? Looks like the fire she's out. Anyway, well, they got some glass in here too, huh? It's plexiglass. Some nice eggs, cured eggs over there. Yeah. All the comforts of home. Yeah, got some eggs. 
That's sweet. Huh? Is that an ice paper? Hook. Spinning glow. Axe. Spinning glow. Fish bonkers. Gloves. And there's a sign. Bring it or replace it. Respect it. Very nice. Smelly jelly. Ooh. Deadly effective. Yeah, people's. We got some tallies up there. Silver, steelies. Yeah. Toilet paper. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, lunchbox. Anyway, all the comforts at home. Yeah, travel hooks. There's a pen so you can write down your catch on your catch card. Oh, there's an old pole up there. The bell. Yeah, I've been looking for one of those. Anyway, just, not a bad little fishing shack. Just, just a walk in. Here. I was going, what the hell? Yeah. Maybe we'll like. So, here's a pole holder. Anyway, he told us about this fishing shack, so we thought we'd come down and see. Not a bad little place. I didn't see the TV, though. Well, we got around the back here. There's got to be an outhouse around here somewhere. Some place to deposit. Anyway, it looks like the water gets kind of high. I'm not sure if you can fish here or not. I don't know why not. Plenty of water. I don't see any boats. It is a Monday. Nothing fancy. You can hear the ice. A little cold still. Wow. That tree looks like it just kind of plum got buried. So this looks like a plunking hole. Anywho, there's supposed to be steelhead and salmon coming up. You don't see any sign of them. But we'll let this do for now. Talk at you later. 